So arrhythmia is when the heart does not beat normally. Um, it's different than palpitations, which are a common complaint, because palpitations can be a normal rhythm that you feel, like if your heart's going fast because you're excited, versus an abnormal rhythm, meaning that it's not the normal sequence of electrical events in the heart. The most common arrhythmia is atrial fibrillation, and that's when the top part becomes electrical chaos, uh, and the heart is very irregularly irregular. When the heart doesn't work, you don't, may not function as well. So you may become very tired, short of breath. You may have chest discomfort with it. You may even lead to you feeling like you're gonna pass out or you do pass out. The most common trigger is stress. So we see a lot of arrhythmias induced with uh, any type of stress, can be physical or emotional. There are obviously certain events that occur that can lead to rhythms. Um, you know, the, the most serious of which is if you have a heart attack, there are rhythm disturbances associated with that, that can be life-threatening. And obviously a heart attack, life-threatening arrhythmia, this is something that needs to be dealt with immediately. We start to see AFib after the age of 40, typically. Um, you can see it in younger patients if they have other rhythm disturbances. Um, they can occur in structurally normal hearts. Um, the common risk factors are high blood pressure, diabetes, um, thyroid disease uh, needs to be worked out. And then one of the biggest ones that is ignored a lot is obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, many people have that, and that may be one of the triggers for AFib. To prevent heart disease, uh, to prevent atrial fibrillation, we know that if you have high blood pressure, keep it under control. If you have diabetes, keep your sugar under control. Control your A1C. Uh, if you're not active, you should be active.